Okay, I just ran across this problem, and it looks like a pretty good one, because um, it, it, it's kind of like a real-life application of what we've been messing around with, and, you know, we've been crunching numbers, and we haven't really applied this to real life yet. Um, but I came across this problem, and it's in it's in uh, an older math book of mine, so I don't know if it's, if it's really all that accurate, um, but it's pretty good. Um, this R right here equals a percent chance of an auto accident after you've consumed some alcohol. Okay, and x, x equals your BAC, your blood alcohol concentration. And if you're in college, probably high school, you, you probably already know all about a blood alcohol concentration. So, but but this is this is um this is this is basically a formula. I told you a lot of formulas exponentials are going to be have e in them. Um, and this is a, just a, you know, this is a real life situation. You know, uh, it looks like a long time ago they they uh, compiled some data, um, probably did some calculus and some differential equations, and built this little formula uh, based off statistics. So um, you know, this this is real life math right here. So let, let's see if we can find. Um, and then there's a question right next to it that says. You know, what BAC is going to guarantee you a 100% chance of an accident? Okay, so look, before we even get into this, let's just graph this really quick. Okay, we're not going to do it really accurately, but it's, it's, we get x here. If x is zero, then what is this whole thing worth? It's worth one, isn't it? Okay. So we already know that this is gonna, you know, look something like this. Okay. And here's r. So when r is equal to 100, that's what we're interested in, isn't it? Okay. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay. That's the approach we're gonna take. We're gonna set r equal to 100. And then we're going to solve for x, which is our BAC. Okay, um, so let's do that. We'll uh, divide both sides by 6. Okay, and that's going to give us 100 divided by 6. I don't think that's a very pretty number. It's going to be like, it's going to have like a, a one-third in it somewhere. I don't want to tie that other problem up in there. So we end up with that, this guy. Um, so we, we've we got 100 sixths is equal to e raised to the 12.77 times x. Well, to, it now this looks a lot like one of our other problems that we've just did. So we're just going to take the natural log of both sides. Um, Notice how we have an E right here? That's kind of a tip-off that we're going to use a natural log. Okay. Now, if you look at this side of the equation, what does this whole thing really say? Okay, what, what, what does this... Like this natural log business say it basically says e to the what gives me e to the 1277x right well we, we it just looks a little weird because there's a decimal wrapped up in there and it's a word problem but that's it all all that is is 12.77x okay you take e and raise it to the 1277x you'll get e to the you know yada 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 so, natural log of 100 divided by 6 is equal to this 1277x. So let's divide both sides by 1277. Now we're just back to regular algebra. It just looks a little weird over here, okay, because we got fractions and logarithms and all this business. But that cancels out. 
And for this part right here, you're going to have to get your calculator out. And I'm going to go natural log. Oops, I'm going to go natural log of 100 divided by 6. All is 1. I'm taking the nat I'm not taking the natural log of 100. I'm not taking the log of 100 divided by a log of 6. Log of 100 over 6. Okay. And we'll divide that by 12.77. And that's going to give me, according to my calculator, it's going to leave me with a BAC of approximately 0.22. Um, now I looked in the back of the book here real quick and it, it, I'm looking at the answer right now. That, that is what they got. I think that's kind of weird though. I would have figured that like a 0.3 would have given you a, 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 a pretty higher probability of, a, of an accident because I know in most states, most states the uh, legal limit Let's see, it's point zero eight. Okay, and if you're a minor, it's it's if you're a, if you're under eighteen, if you're a minor, it's point zero zero percent. So point um, zero eight. Um, so that's you know, yeah. 0 0.014 so that's like that that's that's about three times the legal limit you know is kind of what it looks like you know roughly um, 0.24 would have made us exactly three times the legal limit but that's about three times the legal limit so I don't know I, I would have figured it would have been a little higher you know I, I could, could I could I could visualize a uh, Something like that, but you know that the purpose was to just kind of uh, use a real-world application here of you know exponential functions using a logarithm to um, get the variable out of the exponent basically and end up you know uh, doing some real-world applications. So uh, another uh, place you'll see these logarithmic deals these these logarithms is in population growth you know anything that grows exponentially um you know but but population growth like if a city and let me i'm gonna see if i can't get a population uh word problem next here and that'll that'll uh th th those are where you'll see these a lot all right see you in the next video